is Terry Bailey. I'm from, uh, <clears throat> born up by Canandaigua, New York. Spent most of my life in Cocoa Beach, Florida. I was a master diver, chief engineer down there for NASA for 13 and a half years. I've been playing music since probably eight or 10 years old. Played with a lot of local bands up there. I'm now senior chief engineer for American Queen Steamboat Company. We have all the paddle wheel boats that goes up and down the Mississippi River. And then I decided to do this venture here one day. <clears throat> at a spur of the moment thing with my friend Ronnie Miley, who I met probably prior to when I was going to put this in existence, maybe four months. Him and I were standing out here one day and I had this, <clears throat> looked at him and said, Ronnie, you know, I've always had this dream of building a big music barn. So at that time, it was just a thought. So I told him if I didn't pull the trigger on it now, I never would. So I did, and this is as far as we've come. We're gonna have our first show this weekend here. There'll be many, many steel players. It's gonna be a tribute to Ronnie, who passed away at the age of 55 one evening uh, <clears throat> right after we got done working in the barn here. We had played music that afternoon and uh, myself and my friend uh, John King was the last two people to play music with Ronnie. And believe it or not, the last song Ronnie ever sang was a Bobby Bear song called I'll Be Dropping Out of Sight for a While. So we're going to do this memorial on him. And he is just as much part of this barn as we are. Ronnie played and played, he was a musician out of Nashville. He played with many, many different professional groups up there in big acts. He played at the Palace for 13 years there. His last uh, Nashville job out of there was just before Kovic set in and he was a drummer for Hank Williams Jr but he was a utility musician. He could play anything that you could put in front of him and play it extremely well. He was just naturally gifted. Uh, in the old barn, we had several different jam sessions in there. We would just put out the word and a bunch of musicians from the coast would come up or <clears throat> we would play local places. I played around different places. Ronnie played Friday and Saturday nights with different bands around the area. Thing, but our whole dream was getting this going and then we wouldn't have to go out and play in a, in a tavern or something like that. And this is going to be a family orientated thing. Thursday nights, we're gonna have jam sessions here. Friday nights will be an open dance night that you can bring your whole family. And we will have the live house band plan Saturday night you can still dance if you want, but it's going to be a different themed country show every different or every other Saturday. And we will also be changing the Friday night dance bands out so that venue doesn't get stale. We're going to have acts out of Nashville come down here and do different shows for us. We're going to have a Cajun show, a Cajun weekend, a gospel weekend, uh, rockabilly weekend, combination rockabilly and car show, because there's a big car club in Wiggins and we're gonna get them down to put the car show on also. So we've got many different uh, areas covered for this venue and we're just now waiting for the public to get the word and have everybody come in. When you arrive this weekend, you'll be able to purchase tickets at the door We'll have people selling them out there. You'll be able to buy them for the Friday show or for the Saturday show. We're also gonna have vendors out here selling food. Uh, they gave me a list of their menu yesterday and I probably shouldn't eat it, but <clears throat> I am going to because it sounded good. They're, they've got a big menu planned out for us. We will be selling drinks and stuff like that. There'll be no alcohol served at all on this venue, so. 
it'll be just water and soft drinks and things like that. I have many people helping with this. <clears throat> I wish they were all here now, I'd line them all up. But I do, and most of them are all musicians, a lot of them are very famous musicians around because they want a venue to play at also where they can feature and people will come to actually hear the music and not just to party. Uh, I have uh, a good friend right here who's mowing the lawn. He's a musician out of Florida. I grew up with him. Uh, his name is John King. He's a lead player, a bass player, a steel guitar player. He plays at a place in Florida uh, called Morgan's Music Junction right now, but he is going to be migrating around the corner, building a new house. I have two other friends in Gulfport that are very famous, uh, Darlene Battles. She toured the gospel circuit in the US and Europe for many years. Her husband, Jerry J, he is in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. He has toured all over Europe, all over the US, had many hit songs out. He's famous for re-recording a song called My Girl Josephine, which Chubby Checker had out. Uh, but Jerry J's hit, I actually like better. I have another friend in there, very, very famous. He has written scores for movies. He has played with Elvis Presley. Well, I should say Elvis Presley played in his band because Elvis wasn't famous when they played together. Hank Williams Sr., he's played with him. Glenn Campbell, he wrote the music scores for uh, My Private Idaho. His name is Mr. Bill Stafford. He is going to have a steel guitar display in the back of our venue over here, the same as Ronnie Miley will have over here on the right. Uh, Bill will be playing here this weekend now. John will be playing and Jerry and Darlene will be playing. I have a gentleman coming in uh, from uh, Florida. His name is Bill Ferguson. <clears throat> He's a very, very famous musician out of Nashville and a steel guitar uh, teacher also. I've got people coming from uh, North Dakota, uh, a lot of them from Texas, out, all around that area. A lot of them from Alabama and uh, I have one flying in Wednesday night coming down from upstate New York to play steel guitar here also. So All the stuff up here, what you see right now, is just a fraction of what we actually have. If you could go in the downstairs of my house, there's more stuff in there than a music store. But we will have amps, but most steel guitar players and players like to use their own amps and they're very welcome to use that. There's, we have a big storage area underneath the stage that they can put all their cases and whatever they want to store. It's very easy to move the stuff on and off the stage. So, Microphones, we'll provide all that stuff and the sound system. Yeah. We're gonna open the doors at nine o'clock. Music will start at 11. On Saturday, we will have Ronnie's memorial. And it won't last a long, long time. It'll just, well, everybody that is here, most of them will know him anyways. And that starts at two o'clock. It'll probably run about 45 minutes, something like that. And uh, then it'll be solid music the rest of the weekend. We'll have many people. If everybody shows up, we'll have a great time.